Alright guys, this is my uh, first attempt to shoot a video for iBoat, so hopefully this will turn out okay. Um, don't have a video camera that actually works too well. Our old uh, cameras, one, it's old, and uh, so it's kind of poor quality, but uh, the other thing is it's uh, not working too well. So I'm going to attempt to shoot this on my smartphone. Um, with the quality of smartphones now, it should turn out okay. So hopefully you all can see this. Um, this is, of course, my OutDrive. Um, I am going to do um, some kind of scuff it up and get some primer on it and repaint it. So um, that's one thing, which you can also see uh, there at the bottom, my skeg's busted. Um, that was a uh, journey I'll talk about, either I've already talked about before this video or I'll uh, share that story here in a little bit. Um, but the other thing, you can notice uh, my prop's pretty tore up. Um, missing a couple of little chunks there, but <laughs> anyways, that's all part of the story I'll uh, talk about here in a little bit on one of my lake trips out to uh, test and try to figure out why I was getting uh, water in my oil. So, um, but you can see my outdrive's in um, pretty good shape um, for the most part, except for the bottom part of it where I've kind of damaged it. Um, and I've got my little stand there. Um, one thing I did um, kind of figure out for my stand, um, this thing you can see slides around the garage really well, which some of you that uh, have probably tried that, it's kind of hard to slide around on concrete. Uh, but I got those little uh, furniture pads, those little coasters, and stuck those on the bottom. And uh, plastic on one side and adhesive on the other and stuck those on all four corners there. And it makes it real nice to kind of slide around the garage. But uh, I'm going to have to prep that here in a little bit. It's a nice day here in Dallas. Um, probably about 75 degrees in the middle of November, so kind of nice. Uh, you can see some of my parts I've pulled off here. Uh, and the main reason I've pulled my engine, uh, obviously, talked about it and shared my story, uh, getting water and the oil. So you see my engine here, I've got some of the, you know, obviously the risers off. Look down in the risers and uh, risers look great. There wasn't uh, any, you know, rust or anything like that running down the sides. So I could tell there wasn't really any water leaking there, but um, possibly inside the manifolds. Could have a cracked manifold. Um, I'm thinking probably blown head gasket. Uh, I did a pressure test, test on my engine. Uh, before pulling it and uh, all the cylinders were pretty good. They were around 150, 160 uh, except for my number three cylinder on this side uh, was about one, it would average 115, 120. So that's obviously where the, the problem lies. Um, don't know, it's probably a blown head gasket. Normally you get two cylinders that are kind of low because the head gasket's the thinnest between those and that's the most gets the biggest place and the most prone place to leak but um, for whatever reason it's just number three so i um, got it on my engine stand here uh, picked that up so i can you know work on it over the winter time oh my package here for my boats <laughs> got all my goodies in here so all my rebuild gaskets and and whatnot are in here so can uh, rebuild the the motor kind of tear it apart and rebuild it and check out what's going on uh, and of course my got my hub kit there and my new prop which I'm excited about got all that off of iBoats so good price on that I'm excited about that I'm gonna keep it with the uh, 19 pitch um, I think it's a 14.5 I believe um, so I'm gonna keep it with the same same thing it was running really well um, I was running uh, just from the uh, speedometer in the boat, which we all know those are off. I wouldn't uh, didn't have the GPS with me uh, to be able to test it for sure. But um, from that, uh, the speedometer was showing it was it was running about 47 to about 47 48 miles an hour, um, and it was maxing out about that uh, 46 to 4800. I, I couldn't go full throttle because I know I would have gone over it with just my wife in there. wasn't a lot of weight in the boat, but uh, so you can kind of see uh, I've got the parts out and. Nice little project for this winter. Um, wasn't expecting, as you know, like I said, expecting to be lake ready and even be out there possibly today since the weather's so nice. But you know, it happens uh, when you're buying used boats. So um, you know, I'll look into probably just get a uh, skeg guard, um, you know, to cover up that skeg. Uh, order that, put that on there, and um, just go from there. Um, maybe one of these years get a whole new uh, lower unit, but uh, for right now, I think that'll work. Um, so anyways, uh, hopefully y'all can see this video okay, everything turned out alright, and uh, looking forward to being on iBoats and uh, learning from all y'all. I'm sure I'm going to be posting tons of questions on there, uh, 
once I start uh, tearing this motor down um, or even probably putting things back together. So it's the first time I've pulled a drive. Pretty easy to get the, the drive out. It wasn't a problem at all. Um, but then uh, I do have some questions as far as getting that thing back in there. So I'm sure that'll pop up along with several other things. So I'm looking forward to uh, hearing from all you guys. And um, till then, uh, I'll probably, like I said, uh, probably kind of sand this thing up, get it prepped, and uh, probably get some paint on it. So I'll kind of show you before and after pic pictures and um, kind of let it sit uh, over the next month or two while I'm getting things rebuilt on the motor and figuring out where all that uh, water's coming from. But uh, anyways, uh, just uh, wanted to give you all a video update.